It's not just the presidency being decided, but the balance of power in Congress. With 435 House seats and a third of the Senate on the line, whichever party wins the majority will have a big influence on what a future Harris or Trump administration can actually accomplish. The GOP is currently in control of the U.S. House. Democrats would need to win four additional House seats to take control. One of the biggest races in Maryland is for the Senate seat being vacated by retiring Senator Ben Cardin, with Republican Larry Hogan facing off against Democrat Angela also Brooks. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live in downtown Annapolis, where Hogan will hold his election watch party tonight. So what's going on, Mike? Denise, we're here at the Graduate Hotel, where Hogan hopes to declare victory, but he knows it's going to be an uphill battle. He considers himself an underdog. In fact, the Wi-Fi password for media here is underdog. He knows he's going to have to get crossover Democrats in order to win. We want to show you some video from earlier today, where Larry Hogan voted in Davidsonville. His wife, Yumi, was there as well. He was upbeat. He uh, says he has no regrets about how he's conducted this campaign. Let's take a listen to the former two-term Maryland governor. How do you feel today? We're feeling really good. Look, it's been a long, uh, hard campaign every single day. <laughs> We've been working hard. So is the team behind me. We have great thousands of volunteers across the state. Uh, uh, it's been uh, really great momentum over the past couple of weeks. We really feel like we're surging, and uh, I feel like we're going to pull off the biggest upset in America tonight. Making contact with more than a million voters. You heard him. He believes that he will have an upset victory if he wins. He would be the first Republican to represent Maryland in the U.S. Senate in a generation. We're live in your corner in Annapolis. Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Now let's turn to the Democratic candidate running for Maryland's U.S. Senate. Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks. Stefan Dingle is in College Park where she will have her watch party tonight. After 576 days of campaigning, Angela also Brooks is expressing joy and confidence as she looks to claim a historic victory here in Maryland. All this while looking to overcome 20 plus million dollars in attack ads from conservative super PACs and her opponent, former Governor Larry Hogan, about her record on crime or her personal taxes. But also Brooks's final message as polls close soon is to keep running a campaign with joy and an agenda to help Marylanders care for their families. She talked with me about a special phone call she received last year from presidential nominee Kamala Harris and the impact it's had on both of their campaigns. And she said to me, you know what? You go out and let the people see the joy in you. They get to see a joyful um, a public servant. They get to see the, the joy of what it means to participate um, in this process. And you never lose that. Don't take it personal. It is not personal. But go out and allow the people to feel who you are. Let them see the joy in you and the excitement. And you know what? And hasn't she done that as well? The door should be opening soon for the campaign watch party as Angela Alsobrooks looks to make history in this consequential election. On your corner in College Park tonight, I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ. Uh, thank you, Stefan. We'll